Hey, Biohab is from over here, showing you how to make a hidden drive. So, first off, you need to download TrueCrypt, just uh, check the video description for that. Now, basically, kind of just like follow what I do. So, click, you want to click Create Volume, just the first one. Make sure it's the hidden volume, and just keep it normal mode. Now, here you want to select the um, you want to make a name of what your hidden drive will be called for when you later have to mount it. And you can make it a video file. So for the purpose of this, just it's going to be an AVI file. Now you're on your way to creating the outer volume, which will be the first part of the volume before the hidden section. Basically just keep the encryption algorithm the same unless you want to change that, doesn't really matter. Now here you want to select the size of the hidden drive. Now I store, I store a lot of stuff in mine, so just make it like a gig or something. That will be the total size of the uh, volume drive. Now for this, you want to create a password that can easily be brute forced because if you get caught, you, there will be two parts to your uh, drive. There will be the outer volume and the hidden volume. The outer volume is where it like, just put, puts some embarrassing shit, like put some porn in there. So if you get caught, you say, I have this hidden drive for uh, them all my pants and porn, my porn, or some shit like that. So, put an easy password, like just a password, and next. Now, I've kind of like move the mouse around as much as possible, except we'll just make it, give it a better uh, encryption in some respect. Now, I kind of just let it do its thing. Okay, so now you, we're going to continue on to the hidden volume. Okay, so now on to basically we're going to do the same thing that we did with the outer volume, but just a little bit different. So keep the algorithm, uh, encryption algorithm the same. And you want to make it um, less than the total outer volume size. So there's 1,016 megabytes of the total volume. So just so I, you want to be able, you want to leave some of the outer volume space. You can put uh, just the files that you would like that you don't really care if you were caught with. So make it I mean, since I have a gig of space there, make it 900 megabytes of what the hidden hidden volume size will be. And yeah, just basically saying, giving you that same warning that you don't have to place as much in the outer volume. Now, for this, you want to create a password that is at least 25 plus characters with uppercase, lowercase, numbers, symbols, all that. So. But you want to make sure it's something you can remember, otherwise you're basically just going to have to make your hidden drive all over again. Yeah, it explains here that you'd want to make it over 20 characters, which I didn't, but just for the purpose of speeding this up, make yours over 20. Now same thing again with the mouse, just kind of move it around to randomly generate a key. There you go. That's it, basically. So, this right here is the, um, is the hidden drive. You see it's an AVI file, the gigabyte, 
and to the unsuspecting eye, they kind of think it was just a corrupt video. Since when you go to run it, you get the codec error. So they go, oh, fuck that video. Okay. So then you just basically, right here, you just kind of select the drive name that you want and select file amount. Now you want to uh, select that hidden volume. Now, this um, this part is basically just put in password because that's the outer volume, not the hidden volume password. And it's, it says it's mounted. So, just go to your computer. And then there's your hidden drive. Click on it, there's nothing in it. Um, let's put this text file in there. And so that's the outer volume. That's where you want to store. That's where you want to store your embarrassing information that you wouldn't mind being caught with. So now dismount that. And then mount it. But this time enter in that password that you uh, set as the hidden volume. And you'll notice the size change to what the hidden volume size you set was. And then you see there's nothing in there. So then you just store all your, uh, all the shit you don't want the feds finding. So, well, there you go. That's just a basic tutorial brought to you by Biohazard for Fair